Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to connect Google Analytics with your Teespring account. Google Analytics recently updated their platform, so this is an updated video to show you the new process to generate the UA tracking code. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell to be notified each time I release a new tutorial. Recently, Google made some updates and change the way the UA tracking code is generated in Google Analytics. I've been receiving a lot of questions about this, so let's go through the new process to add the Google Analytics tracking code to your Teespring store. To get started, let's go up to your account drop-down menu and click on the Settings tab. This will take you to your account settings where you can update and edit your Teespring information. From here, we want to head over to the Teespring Tracking Pixels page. So let's look at the menu on the left-hand side and click on Tools and Services. From the drop-down menu, go ahead and click on Tracking Pixels. Here's where you can add tracking codes and pixels to your Teespring account. Currently, you can add tracking pixels from Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Google. But for this video, we're gonna add the Google tracking code. So let's click on the Google tab now. From the Google tab, you can see that you have the options to add a conversion pixel, a label conversion pixel, or a Google Analytics tracking snippet. In order to connect Google Analytics with our Teespring account, we'll first have to generate our Google UA tracking code, then add it to the default Google Analytics tracking snippet field. So now let's head over to Google Analytics and go over the process to create our UA tracking code. The web address is analytics.google.com. If you already have a Google or Gmail account, simply sign in with your email and password. Once you're logged in, you should be taken to the Google Analytics dashboard. You can use Google Analytics to track all sorts of valuable information about your store, such as your store traffic, your audience demographic, and even your audience behavior. But to start tracking anything, you'll first need to create your Google Analytics tracking code. So let's look at the menu on the left-hand side, go all the way down to the bottom, and click on the Admin tab. This will take you to the Google Analytics Admin page, where you can create a new account to track, create a new property for that account, or create a new view for the property. So to get started, let's go over how to create an account for your Teespring store. In the first column, go ahead and look up at the top and click on the blue Create Account button. This will take you to your account setup. Under Account Details, go ahead and name your account and select your account data sharing settings. I'm gonna leave my settings as is and click the blue Next button. Now you can set up your property. Go ahead and create a property name select your region and time zone, and select your currency. Now we get to the step that most people miss. After the recent updates from Google, in order to create a UA tracking code, we now have to click on this Show Advanced Options tab here. A new box should appear that says Create a Universal Analytics Property. In order to generate a Universal Analytics tracking code when you create your property, you want to look at the right hand side here and click the Enable button to set up your tracking code. Under Website URL, simply type in www.teespring.com in the text field. You will then have the option to create both a Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property, or just create a Universal Analytics property. For my Teespring store, all I need is the Universal Analytics property, so I'm going to select this option here. Once you're ready, go ahead and click on Next. You will then be asked to provide some additional information about your business, such as your industry category, your business size, and how you plan to use Google Analytics. Go ahead and fill out the information for your business, then go down to the bottom and click on Create. You will then be asked to read and agree to the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. Make sure you read the agreement, click the check boxes, then click on I Accept. And voila! We just created our Google Universal Analytics tracking code. Go ahead and select and copy the code to your clipboard. Once you've copied the tracking code, go ahead and head back over to your Teespring account settings and paste the code into the default Google Analytics tracking snippet field. Once you've entered the tracking code, go ahead and click on Update. And there we have it. Your Teespring store will now be tracked with Google Analytics. From your Google Analytics account, You'll now be able to track valuable information regarding your Teespring store visitors and their behavior. After installing the tracking ID, remember that it might take up to 24 hours for Google Analytics to begin collecting information. 
but once it starts reporting, you'll be able to view all sorts of important data to help you make better business decisions. On the Home tab, you can get an overview of your data by seeing your users, number of sessions, bounce rate, and session duration. From the Real Time tab, you can get an overview of the users that are currently viewing your shop. This includes the active users on your site and the number of page views per minute. From the Audience tab, you can get all sorts of valuable information regarding your store visitors such as their demographics, the browsers or operating systems they use, and the overall number of page visits. From the Acquisitions tab, you can see information about where your store visitors came from. This includes traffic coming from social media, direct traffic, email, referral, and other traffic sources. From the Behavior tab, you can see how your traffic is interacting with your store and your products. This includes how much time they spent on your store, which pages were viewed the most, and the user flow. There's also a tab to analyze your store conversions. Once you set up certain store goals, you'll be able to view your conversion reports to see how well your store is performing. So that's a quick overview of how to add Google Analytics to your Teespring store. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.